this demonstration is going to show you a principle of science that's also true for social studies. When you, I think I told you this, maybe not. In college, if you study um, social studies, there's not a major for social studies. It's called social science because you study laws of nature, laws of people that are like scientific laws. There's a law of science called nature abhors a vacuum. That means nature hates a vacuum. I'm going to create a vacuum here, and we're going to make an analogy between what happens here in science when you have a vacuum, and what happens in a society when you have a vacuum of leadership. Oh. So let's watch first, and then we'll talk about the principles. So I'm going to light the yeah. 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 Okay, Here we go. Drops it may not go because it, it burns. I mean, when you have a fire, it burns up any oxygen in the area. And look at that. It's hard to get it off because it already started to create a bit of a vacuum. But it's not totally complete. I'm going to try this at home. The reason it creates a vacuum, the reason it creates a vacuum is because fire burns, it needs oxygen to burn. So it's burning up the oxygen in the bottle, and hot air or warm air rises. So where there is a bit of a crack, once I put the egg on, um, air can still leak out because hot air rises. So what it does eventually is eliminate all of the air in the bottle. Yeah, it fit. Yes. Whoa. So it's creating the vacuum. Yeah! 